from what geologists have found from the GPS data from the Icelandic eruption of 2011, it can hint at new ways to forecast hazards. Volcanoes, they find, shift before they spew, before they erupt. An Icelandic volcano that erupted out a 20 kilometer high ash plume in May 2011 gave researchers another possible tool for forecasting future eruptions. An hour before the Grimstovd volcano erupted, a global positioning system GPS instrument perched on its flank showed the ground shifted noticeably. Can you imagine? Those data streamed in real time back to volcanologists revealed not only that the eruption was imminent, but also that it was uh, also its likely size because of the shift. A GPS site can tell you not only that there's unrest at the volcano, such as earthquakes, but that it's about to erupt, and then how high its plume will be. This is what Sigrun Hensdotter, geophysicist at the University of Iceland in Reykjavik, said. She and her colleagues reported the discovery to Nature Geoscience magazine. She says knowing that an eruption is about to occur helps emergency officials to prepare for a disaster by closing roads or evacuating nearby residents, and knowing how high a volcano's ash plume may reach helps airlines to plan for whether they need to reroute their flights or even close the airports. The 2011 Grishvold event, the largest volcanic eruption in Iceland in nearly a century, temporarily grounded flights in parts of the UK, a small reminder of the million, multi-million euro losses that were incurred as a result of planes being grounded a year before that. That's when the Icelandic volcano Ayaf Jala Jokul erupted. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The Pressure Gauge. Chimsvolt is Iceland's most active volcano, but it's not easy to monitor because it's buried beneath a vast ice sheet. Hen's daughter's team put a GPS station on a rare rocky outcrop, which was kept ice-free by pipe funneling up geothermal heat from below. And shortly before the eruption, the ground began to shift, eventually lurching by more than half a meter. That's about one and a half feet. Using the equations that describe the physical characteristics of an underground magma chamber, the scientists translated the GPS measurement ground movement into changes in pressure inside the magma chamber of the volcano. That in turn was linked strongly with the height, the height of the ash plume that came from the eruption. Now, Hen's daughter said, if you had water in a balloon and squeezed it really hard, then the height of the water coming out of the balloon would correlate with how hard you were squeezing. It seems fairly simple, but we have not been able to show that before. Seismic instruments can detect an impeding eruption because earthquakes usually come fast and furious right before such an event, but only the GPS data hint at the actual size of the eruption to come. The uh, geologist Hendra's daughter said, the work could prove useful at remote volcanoes such as those in Alaska's Aleutian Islands, one of them is now erupting, and there uh, where there are few webcams watching to see whether an eruption is occurring, pilots flying across the North Pacific often have to guess where there is an ash plume they need to avoid. But the biggest challenge may be monitoring more volcanoes in real time says Paul Siegel, geophysicist at Stanford University in California. Many volcano observatories, including that in Alaska, have lost funding in recent years, unfortunately. Hen's daughter also wants to observe another Icelandic volcanic event to confirm that GPS can be used for forecasting. She says we need another eruption to prove we are right. And this is a reference from Nature Geoscience, 2000. 14. I'll leave a link below for you for this. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.